Yeah, shut up while I'm coming to you in the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshem, Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who taught me the truth and salutations unto that I cannot continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. It's coming up to 12 in the morning, but, um, you know, just here laying in the bed and, um, just looking at a few things, right? Now, um, this was published on the 6th of April. 2021 um, for the BBC right and it's basically talking about e-passports when it, it's entitled what are the UK plans for COVID passports proving your COVID status is likely to become a feature of our lives the government has said so what are the plans for COVID or vaccination passports what is a COVID passport at present people who have a COVID jab, receive a vaccination card, and the details cover their medical records. The government is now looking at how to allow people to more easily show their COVID status as a temporary measure. This could this could mean a record of whether people have been vaccinated, recently tested negative, or neutral, or so like a natural immunity after being ill with COVID. It's hoped that this could make it easier to reduce social distancing and allow international travel, you know. So, guess what? If you don't have... Let's just stop there. I'm going to get on preset. Because international travel is going to, you know, be traveling from one city to another. Then also, uh, you know, taking flights, man. You know, this is second letters 15 and 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. We see how that's going to happen. Because they want you to have COVID passports, man. And basically saying, look, you won't be allowed to travel internationally. You know, if you don't have that proof. You know, there's some countries that aren't accepting you now. If you don't have the vaccination card. So about when this passport thing is made, you know, mandatory, man, and we can clearly see that the next step after this is going to be the chip, because it will be a thing of, oh, well, we have to have the, 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 the vaccination passport, then we have to have our regular passport, then we have to have this document and that document. The next step is, you know what, we'll put it all on one chip. You can clearly see that the mark of the beast is the implantable RFID microchip. This is how COVID passports be tested. The government plans to test uh, how COVID status certificates could help crowds return to large events in England, including theatres, nightclubs, festivals, sports events. You know, so all of this social life is going to be based around COVID. You know, you will need a COVID passport to go to the pub. But it's a lucky, it's a question. Will you need a COVID passport to go to the pub? For stage two of lifting lockdown in England, including the reopening of non-essential shops uh, and pub gardens on the 12th, which is a couple of days away, there will definitely be no legal requirement for a COVID passport according to Prime Minister. So they're taking their time with it because they're gonna as soon as they're opening stuff just now, they're gonna shut it all down again. You know, people are gonna, you know. Have a uproar. That's when um, the enemy's gonna come in like a flood, man. The implementation of more austere, you know, draconian like measures ultimately leading to the chip. You know, the human law is spoken of and prophesied in the scriptures. Forget it real quick. I've been saying this, man. Revelation 13 and 16 and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in the right hand and their forehead and that no man might buy or sell was buying and selling going to the pub having a good time going to the movies having a good time going to the nightclub having a good time 
wanted to buy food from the grocery stores so you can go home and eat. All that stuff is buying and selling, man. You know, so you won't be able to buy or sell, say, if he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You know, so, and we read the next verse here is wisdom, let him that under, that have understanding count the number of the beast for the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6. That's that 666. So, guess what? You know, this, this looming possibility which we know is going to come through, you know, is all leading up to that mark of the beast, man, which you've been speaking about, you know. So, pretty much the ushering in of the mark of the beast came through the COVID 19, you know, e passports, man. You know. But then you got people petitioning it. Um, no. Do not roll out COVID-19 vaccine passports. They've got, you know, 338,353 signatures. <laughs> you know. So with people rising up, you know, a lot of Edomites are rising up against it as well. But with people rising up, the enemy's going to have to come in like a flood. They're going to have to impose that hard draconian law. You know, the scriptures say that. In fact, let's get it. Yeah, let's so this is the book of Isaiah 59. And nineteen, so shall they fit in with the Lord Yah, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Rakak, Kodash, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So the enemy's gonna come in, you know, hardcore, man. You know, but the spirit of the Lord is gonna lift up a standard, which is what the spiritual power. He's gonna get that spiritual protection and power. He's gonna give unto his elect. So. Us, we being the hopeful elect, you know, we have nothing to worry about, man. You know, you know, we, sh we shouldn't really be fearing. You know, the Lord, not about how, we just know the Lord will. You know, not how He'll protect us, we just know the Lord will. You know, but this is interesting. You know, people are actually rising up against the whole idea of it, but. This is just a quick hit, man. You know, I'm probably going to do a more in-depth lesson on it. But I just wanted to bring out two scriptures and read through this. But the possibility of a COVID-19 passport is, is, is very possible, man. You know, but people are rising up against it. But we know what the scripture says. So we're going to culminate with this chip, man. You know, the market, which is the market of being spoken of in the scriptures. Okay. You know, it's all going to culminate. It's all leading towards that mark of the beast, chip. But anyways, that, just a quick hit. I'm going to wrap it up, man. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign out and say shalom.